Well, it's March of 2020, and what that means is sometimes you play, let's go to the grocery store and see if they have anything. First, I usually look for some toilet paper, which is never there, and then I look for some rubbing alcohol that's never there, and then I start checking around to see what else I might find. A lot of the popular items are missing, and that gives me the opportunity to check out things that maybe I wouldn't usually notice. Looking for unusual items because the stores are empty due to worldwide panic. Yeah. And the last time I went over to Walmart, I saw something that I've never seen before. Polar sardines. If you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, and leave comments if you would. I'd love to hear from you and love to hear ideas of something you'd like to see. I appreciate it. Now, I've seen polar sardines before, but I haven't seen them in this pack. You see, it's round. That doesn't really make sense for sardines, but look how perfectly they're laid in there. And that's real, that is a plastic see-through thingy. Let's check it out a little closer. Now you see this little skinny can here. Let's check out the ingredients first. Wild caught, that's good. Wood smoked, hmm. Hand packed, well, you'd have to pack it like that, right? The, the machines wouldn't be able to pack it that nicely. We don't have the technology. We got a good ingredients list here. Smoked bristling sardines, refined olive oil, as opposed to that redneck hillbilly uneducated olive oil, and salt. They're uh, imported from the Northern European country of Latvia after being wild caught in the Baltic Sea. Uh, uh. See the little bubbles there on the side? This is a plastic, I don't know how I feel about this plastic being in touch with my food, but it certainly is an eye catcher. I, I probably wouldn't have bought it if it hadn't been for the fact that I can see through it. And it looks so, it looks cool and it looks kind of gross at the same time. So we're gonna take this little plastic pull tab here, pull it up. Of course, I've never had this before. Trying not to pop it. There we go. Lots of oil. And it's, you know, it's sardines. Looks like it's two layers. In that thin little can, there's two layers of these tiny little sardines. All right, no surprises so far. You said I like the way it's laid out there. It's cool, cool presentation. Let's see how they taste. All right, I'm just gonna get one out with my fork here. There you go, you see it? Still got the tail on it. Still got the skin. I wanna point out too, let me set this can down. I don't see any kind of break in the stomach. And what that means, probably, not always, somebody commented on this in one of my other videos, Sometimes the organs are there, sometimes they're not. Sometimes you feel like an organ, sometimes you don't. Because of the cooking process, it's just fine to eat the organs. These sardines are so small and I don't see, there's no break in the stomach there. So that means the organs are there. I'm almost sure of it. Um, I'm gonna bite this one in half and see. There's definitely no break there. There's definitely organs there. Eat the tail. I'm not gonna be a chicken about eating the tail. Get another one out.
I think these were a little bit expensive. I don't even remember. I just got excited because of the unusual packaging and decided to grab some, but that is good. It is, it's the best sardine. It's the best healthy sardine I've had. And the reason I do the quotes is because it's annoying and people don't like it when you do that. But also because there is some question as to how healthy smoked things are. You know, it's like, I don't want to, I don't want to talk to you about it or fight with you about it. You know, there are people that say it's nothing. People, There are people who think that it's not good for you to eat smoked things, you know? So, I don't know. I'm, I'm eating it. I will eat something that's been smoked. But there are some reasons to think maybe it's not the best way to prepare something. But it sure makes things taste good. Be a little healthier if it was extra virgin olive oil instead of refined olive oil. Uh... But this is a pretty healthy product, I think. And it tastes really good. That smoke, even the super healthy sardines that I try to eat as much as possible are lightly smoked. But this is smoked enough that you can really taste the smoke. And if you like that, especially in a sardine, this is good. I keep eating it because it's good. I'm hungry and it's good. If you look right here, you can see that the next layer crosses the other direction. It's a lot of oil there. But yeah, so the first layer that you see through the clear top, the layer underneath it will be laying in the opposite direction. This is a really cool product. It's a fun product because of the little, little super thin can. Polar is a brand I've eaten lots of their products before. This is a delicious sardine with a short ingredients list that is not in a type of oil like cottonseed oil that's not good for you. The fact that it's hand packed and in a weird display is probably the main reason it costs more. But if it's the only sardine you like, it would be well worth it. And if you like sardines at all, and this ingredients list is okay with you, I would 100%, I'm good, I will buy this again, for sure. That is good, that is, a, that is the best sardine I've ever tasted that had an ingredients list that was okay. My lunch is set. Polar bristling sardines, wild caught, wood smoked, and hand packed and probably available at your local Walmart, unlike green beans. Yeah.